It's go time. The Dirthead Shed is going on Ultimate Adventure, and we're bringing the new truck along. start of Ultimate Adventure, we are at the trailer drop. We got 400 miles to get to the start of this trip. Let's see if old Louis Vuitton will make it. Alright, we're leaving this campground in Kentucky. We got how many rigs with us? Uh, Six? Seven, Six right? or seven rigs. Yeah, we got a 400 like mile road trip. Yeah, break in all rigs. these rigs. That one's got a fresh Hemi swap. That one's just a big pile of junk. <laughs> this one's pretty nice, but it's got rear end noise. That one's a Nissan, so God help him. <laughs> this, one, this one's going to be good. And this one's fairly untested. So we'll just follow Steven Watson up the, tra up the road. So check it out. I've got 134 miles on the truck so far. I think that means actually I've got 160 on it. It's pretty good. Um, I've got a little bit of a tire hop because I didn't balance my tires. Got a heck of loud whine out of the rear end. Um, and other than that, I think we're pretty good. I would like to figure out that rear end noise. It's kind of frustrating because I actually had somebody else set that up, but we'll figure it out. And if, uh, if it's a problem, we'll fix it. All is good, man. We are rolling to the start of the trip. We got about Nothing like driving a bunch of rowdy rock crawlers down through the middle of some historic downtowns. We're getting close. This is like the best part of UA. Rolling in and seeing all the other rigs. I think we are just about there. Got it. Dude, this thing looks amazing. Thanks, Dieter. How's it going, brother? Good, I'm tired. I'll turn this thing off and go say hi to my buddies. I made it to tech inspection. This year I got the better of the two inspectors. I got Keith Bailey. Yes. Last yes. year we were unfortunate enough to have Sam Gillis. So I feel like we'll Terrible probably... Choice. Yeah, you, we, you really stepped it up this year. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, what do we got? This, uh, what is like the Do you have a winch? Do? I do have a winch. Okay. Check this out. You can barely see it. I've welded a thing way back in there. Is it hooked up? It is. Okay, great. I believe. How about a, your battery? Is it retained? It is. It's factory. Okay. That's the thing. This truck's like stock, man. It is factory. Do the old shake. Check. Yep. Front and rear lockers. I believe so. Well, you mind pulling your diff covers? Yes. We need to verify <laughs> that. <laughs> we will find out tomorrow if my lockers work, but they are in there. Row cage. I do. I put one in. Yes, you did. Color. It is really weird. <laughs> Painted it myself. Seat belts. Yep. 
got them in stock. Two-way radio. I do. I've got them rugged. Is it hooked up? It is. I used it. <laughs> oh, so uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, it's in the uh, tool. It's in here. Is it, it going to be in there? Stay in there? It can come out. Where's it supposed to be? Let me read this to you. Fire extinguisher mounted in reach of occupants. It's while sitting in the car or just within? Or just a, out, a, a in nice a parking block. lot. Okay. Yeah, it's within reach. Okay. First aid kit. Uh, yeah. It's in my in there too. <laughs> mm, question mark. I might have to run the one. Uh, snatch strap, recovery gear, rope. Uh, I have the bubber rope with a couple of voodoo shackles. How about Jack? Do you know Jack? I got I got him. His name's High Lift. It's a copper gold one. It's Is really he, it's got a little thing. Does he stay with the fire extinguisher and the first aid kit? It's actually easier to get. Through. Okay. Oh, great. Because that's an emergency. You need to get to your Jack easier <laughs> yeah. than your fire extinguisher. <laughs> Do you have a helmet? That I do. It's a have simple one. question. Yeah. We don't need it. You don't need how to this build the watch. This is why I was really glad to have you on board instead of Sam this year. <laughs> I don't need. A, I just know what time it is. Don't Can you maintain to to 65 mile an hour in a parking lot? Yeah. Wheel speed? Yes. Yeah. No worries. Driver's license, insurance, and registration. Yeah, got that. Okay. Um, do you need to see it? Well, I'd like to. Kind of like that fire extinguisher and first aid kit. Hang on. Here's a driver's license. I just got it. It's fresh. That's you? Yeah. That's it. There's not room enough for my stuff in here. Um, I actually checked. Shit's gotta come out of here. Here's my registration. Look at that. Okay. Did I make it? There's not about six stuff. question marks. Dude, Keith Bailey, sign me off. No yes. thanks to you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go find my sticker and get a whole bunch of free t-shirts. Yep. Ain't nothing free though. Just remember oh, that. Yeah. 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 All right, we are done with the driver's meeting. We're rolling out. It's gonna be a good day. I don't really know where we're going. I think it's like a river rock run recreation park or something. Hopefully today is kind of simple because I've got to figure out if this thing's even going to work off-road or not. And I bet you it's just going to get harder throughout the week. We made it to the first Wheeland day and we're somewhere in Pennsylvania. I just went and signed in and got stickers for this place. This place is called Rock Run Recreation Area. It should be a good time. I don't know if it's rocky, if it's muddy, I don't know if it's wooded, I don't know what to expect, but I'm sure it's going to get a workout in for your old Louis Vuitton. Alright, I'm going to go finish getting ready for the trail and see what we get into. Alright, airing this puppy down. I've never run these 40 inch stickies. I aired it down to like Twelve, and it seems like it's super low. But I think I've also never wheeled a truck this heavy. Let's see what the sweet spot is. All right, I finally got this thing off road a little bit, and the tires are hitting the flare pretty bad. I actually, even get into the tube work a little bit. I'm gonna have to trim this up before we get off road. So, got us a little saw and cut this puppy up. We're getting into the first trail. I guess we're going to find out right away if I brought the right rig or not. Got the 205 and 4 low. Lap belts on. Magnum. We'll use that later. Hey, Georgia, we got Oh yeah, piece of cake. I think. I can't see a dang thing in front of me. It's like the hood is like the size of a boat dock. We just got to the first real obstacle. It's a big hill with some rock ledges on it. I'm watching everybody try their different techniques on it. It's pretty gnarly. I'm not sure which route I'm going in the old Louie, Louie machine. 
Let's go see what this let's go see what this Nissan Frontier from Carl's doing. thing is on 40s. Solid axle. It looks like a... Oh wow. Everybody's getting after it. That's the last guy went through the flat fender. He was up to get after it. Yo doggy Ben. Watson brought out his convertible truck. This thing totally gets it done. Square body Chevy with an LS in it. All the opera design parts. the rear. He, he knows it. He's just playing. I guess we're gonna go find out if this big old Ford truck will get up that hill. I guess we're gonna find out if this thing climbs hills. I got an idea what I want to do. Driver, as I come up. Nice. It didn't break. Nervous. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. Almost puked on my sweater. I didn't bring mom's spaghetti. I brought Louis Vuitton. I'm dropping bars. Coming up that hill climb. I've got put my drawers. Gotta go. Nice work, doggy. This looks gnarly. We got winching going on coming out of the trail. We got people trying to go into the trail. All kinds of chaos. It's time to jam this big old truck into this little tiny Jeep trail. 
see if we can get out the other end without it being too wadded up. I'm just going to take it slow. I got double, double, triple low, and we will see how she does. This little trail is kicking everybody's butt. We got fish mail over there in the uh, International having to get on it. Over here we got Skinny Kenny hung up on a boulder winch and right behind that we got Matt under the hood doing I don't know what and then I still got eight vehicles ahead of me before I even get to those obstacles over there. This is pretty wild. Boulder field over here is just nuts. Need this where I live. Looks like Jeff's moving along. trail carnage going on over here. Chris Durham's coming in with his little blue truck that's got a welder on it. And the guy is litter repping bumper rope rack. They broke a track bar bracket slash high rod mount. Or a, oh, check that out. They broke this track bar bracket slash hydraulic steering mount. Stuck is all get out trying to get here. Hazel stacking up. There's what? action everywhere. I haven't introduced my co-dog yet. I've got Chris King, not the guy who makes BMX headsets, but he's the guy that works for a real truck. What do you think of this trip? It's been awesome so far. You're driving the pants off this truck, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm putting this thing through its paces on day one. I gotta back it off a notch, I think. But it's pretty cool. Have you ever done any hardcore stuff like this? Not nearly like this. Uh, I've probably heard and felt more rocks hit in the bottom of this vehicle than I ever have before. Um, probably a lot more to come, I think, in the days. If this is the easy one, yep. then uh, we're in for a good week. Just gotta keep it together. All right, to the hotel. It's nighttime after the first uh, first trail day. I'm working on my rig. I'm gonna do a tie rod. It's just a little bit. 
I was able to find parts at the auto parts store. Skinny Kitty's truck is over here getting new leaf springs put in the back. That's pretty wild. This is the one that had the track bar bracket break Fine. earlier. That's getting fixed. It looks like they're working on the Quigley van over here. Got all the tools out. I don't know what he's broke. Over here we got a bunch of dudes just laying in the Fred Williams. Yeah. Jeep. It's that time. What are you guys doing over here? Uh, oh, nothing. We're just polishing the skid plate. Hey, let me see that. Okay. They're just retorquing the skid plate. Uh, it looks like Keith went and washed his rig. Tommy's taking a drink. And it looks like Johnny Wood's over here working on his rig too. Situation normal. Destroying stuff. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, fixing cracked welds and yeah. metal fatigue. 12 years of rock crawling. Yeah. Cool. Alright, we're gonna get to work.